Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. This is iPhone Pro. Uh, I wanted to demonstrate for you today the um, Google Android running on the TX2Z TouchSmart uh, Hewlett Packard laptop. So what I'm going to do here is I have uh, the Google Android Live disk in my disk drive. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Now this actually operates without having to mess with any of your files, but they've actually made it now so you can put it on your hard drive on a partition as well, which is uh, great news for us who own uh, touch computers or tablet PCs. And let me go ahead and boot device options, run from the CD. Now, there's some good news and some bad news about, you know, running Google Android on the TX2Z right now, at least as far, I mean, I'm very new to this as far as I know. Now, when I'm running this CD here, I had to put it on Visa mode, B-E-S-A mode. I hit enter, and this is the only way I could get it to work. It doesn't seem to want to recognize my PC. Uh, I mean, according to uh, a lot of the information on their website, it is running on some I think on ASUS computers and EEE. Um, I, I'm not really familiar with those those computers, but it is running fluently on a lot of um, tablet PCs right now. Um, the thing about the TX2Z and a lot of other ta touch computers and tablets is we don't have anything. We're like kind of in limbo here. You know, we've got these really great machines. You know, Bill Gates is in, in love with these things, and and the problem is is we don't have anything you know worthwhile to put on them so they're just really they're just still mouse and keyboard machines they're not really even all that touch oriented of course if you visit my forum uh, touchswipe.com you will find a lot of apps and games I have dug through through and through the internet to find everything I can uh, for you the touch or tablet PC owner now here it is I mean this is Google Android running on my TX2Z Unfortunately, as you can see, the touch screen is, is inoperable, so I'm unable to get that to work. What I have to actually do is use the arrow keys in order to operate it, see? You know, it's still got the same functionality, but unfortunately I have to use the arrow keys and the enter key to open. As you can see, we can go into like settings, there's a browser, alarm clock, camcorder, now the cool thing is, I mean, the camcorder and the camera works off of the off of the um, webcam, which is pretty nice. Um, the mouse does work with the touchpad as well. I want to I want to mention that, and you can double click. So let's go into settings just to check out the settings, and uh, you know show you a few things. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the Wi-Fi to work. I couldn't get you know pretty much anything on this to work at all. I mean, the only things I was able to get to work is you know the escape key takes me back out the left right up down arrows uh, the enter button and the mouse pad on the PC itself not I could not use a, a USB mouse so this is a cry out to the makers of you know the the guys and, and girls out there who are putting Android on the PC thank you 100 percent thank you big time and we you know, once we get this running, we'll have apps, games, all touch oriented, um, and, and it would be a very valuable operating system to have. I know Hewlett Packard's even looking into putting this on their netbooks, but us touch screen owners, I mean, we're we're hungry for something, and we, you know, we're looking for the you know, you know, the goal, the holy grail for for our computers. So. You know, again, uh, we have a lot of apps and games. We have this live CD. You know, you can go to my forum, touchswipe.com. You can get all the uh, information on this as well as uh, a lot of other things. You'll be very happy you did. And uh, I want to thank you very much again, YouTube, and have a great day.